answers from all across Northern California. This is the CBS 13 News at 10. It amazes me what this community is doing for my family. It's, I can't even put it into words. A Dixon father is recovering tonight after being robbed and stabbed 15 times while walking to a convenience store and the suspects are still on the loose. But a glimmer of hope for the victim and his family as the community bands together with an outpouring of support. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood has more on how strangers are helping him heal. Angela? Christina and Tony, it has been a very traumatic time for this family. The father of four and main provider is out of work as he recovers, and the community wants to relieve some pressure, taking care of their meals for the next month. We know he could have died, I think. He fought hard for his life. A 34 year old father of four stabbed more than 15 times while on his nightly walk less than a block from his home to this 7 Eleven in Dixon. His wife, Diana. He feels like maybe it was somebody on drugs that just was out to get whoever was going to walk by there that night. It happened on August 20th in this alleyway. Leo Hood Thron was on his way to grab dessert for his family when he was approached by two men who demanded he hand over whatever he had. They didn't give him a chance to even try to give him anything before the guy started stabbing him. Stabbed in the chest, stomach, and arm. Today, he's healing well, thanks to multiple surgeries. We didn't expect any of this, honestly. And support from strangers. Because when it's our neighbor and there's a need, that's what we do, because it's Dixon. Jesse Besseghini knows how much a simple meal can mean during tough times. They're going to get that, ah, oh, I don't have to cook dinner. I don't have to worry about this. So she created an online meal sign up and the community got on board. We've had um, spaghetti. We've had uh, lasagna. Now bringing meals to the family for the next month. It really feels good to know that there might be one person out there that could have hurt him, but there's a hundred thousand more that are kind of blanketing him and showing them that you know there's still good people out here. Offering comfort through food, the Dixon community lifting spirits following a brutal attack. And I think it just gives them a peace of mind that we're going to be all right. And the family says aside from making a full recovery, their goal is to also get the men who did this behind bars. And Dixon police are asking anyone with information to give them a call. Let's hope they catch them and soon. Angela, thank you.